We're going to cover in this video some really simple arithmetic operation with the images and we're going to see the threshold, what it is and what will be necessary for. So first I have to these two images, one is road and the second one is the car. And I want to put this car on this image of the road. So let's do that. Import CV2, import numpy as and p. Then we have image one. I load the road, and you can download both images from the link in the description. In read. So road.jpg second one in g2 equals cv2 dot read car dot jpg let's show them cv2 dot im show mg1 mg1 cv2 dot im show EMG2, EMG2, CV2 dot weight key zero, CV2 dot destroy all windows. And here we have the car and the road. So, important thing. Now to add two images, they must be the same size. So in this case, the road is 620 per 349 and the car has the same size. So the sum of the image is equals cv2.add and we add e image 1 to image 2. Let's show the sum cv2 dot em show emg uh, sum sum and this is the result so this is not a good way to sum two images just straight this way um, because here we will sum pixel by pixel for, for example if we take the first pixel uh, print emg1 pixel 0 0 and we print the same of the second image so we will have the first one it's this one the second one is completely white this one so the sum it would be something like this it would be 149 plus 255 then this 144 plus 255 and 143 plus 255 and how does it work in this way it works that after 255 it just it will be all white as simple as that so that's why all this image it's almost completely white. So what now? There is a better way to sum the images, which is weighted images. So you can say, okay, from this image, take weight only half, for example, or less or more. So weighted 
equals cv2 dot weighted uh, not that exactly add cv2 dot add weighted then we have emg1 and we want to take all the grains of the image and emg2 let's say 0 0.5 and pi uh, zero so let's show cv2 dot in show weighted and weighted and let me take that as you can see we are taking all of the road so we're giving the road this value can go from 0 0.00 until 1 so from 0 to 1 and we are taking from the car only 0 0.5 and this, this is actually the half so the transparency of the image if we take for example only 0 0.1 of the car you can see here there is some shape of the car to do a proper job in this way we be uh, so to just put the car like it is full color on this image would be to remove this white background from this part To do that, we need first to remove the background, so let's do that. We will have, first we need to convert the image to the grayscale, so we have image 2, underscore gray, equal to cv2 dot cvt color, image 2 cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray let's show even this one cv2 in show img2 gray img2 gray so this is the original one i'm looking for the okay this the grayscale image so we're going to work with grayscale because it's easier to process and it's more light for the CPU because you're working with just one color and not the sum of the three colors and, and here it's important to use the threshold so for example in this grayscale image we will have some value like for example this part that is completely black so we'll have the value of zero and this part each pixel white pixel we have the value of 255 but between them we have many different values for example this is gray so it can be like 120 or this is close to black but it's not completely black so it can have some value close to the black so maybe 5 or 10 and so on the threshold it it can be only zero so it can be black or only white 255 there are no values in the middle so let's now transform this image in threshold threshold equals cv2 dot threshold then we take the image emg2 gray for the moment we take 0 255 
and cv2 dot thrash binary and let's now show the threshold cv2 dot im show threshold and threshold here threshold okay this one so now we are saying basically take all the value zero and we will have zero and all the value that have 255 and it will have 255 or we can say for example take all the values from zero until 170 so it would be different okay this is our threshold now so all the values until 170 will be black all the values after will be completely white but we want in this case to take the entire car now we are taking only this black part we want to take so uh, almost to 255 so it can be something like 240 or even more as you can see now we are even take taking the the shape this gray shape here uh, I would say even more um, even more would be something like 250 Threshold. Well, let's just put 252 and that's all. Now, instead of um, some some the two images like the road and the car, now we don't care about that. We sum the only image two with the image two and we put a mask mask in this case is our threshold so actually this threshold we can call it mask it will be something like this mask um, let's see where I have the image so, Actually, I should do the opposite. Let's take the inverse of the mask. So we put the mask. Now, actually, we are putting the mask on the car. So we are we are taking this image and we are covering this image with the this black part. So we are covering all the car, and it's actually what we need. So in this case, we need to have the opposite so instead of threshold binary we will do something like this threshold binary int so threshold binary inverse which will be the opposite so the car will be something like this now okay so now we took the car and we remove the white background we took we kept this part only because it has some shape so that the shadow of the car and after that we we can proceed to add this image this car here on the road and it's all for this video and we will see how to add the proper way this car on this road and some other thing in the next video